Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with my week 3 check-in for the month of March. I'm going to be showing you guys as well as explaining my expenses for this past week in March. So let me go ahead and just go to my, yeah, my weekly check-in page actually. <laughs> um, I have my stickers here already actually, I was going through them. So we're going to be weekly checking in for week three, which for me is from the 16th until the 22nd, which was from um, Monday through Sunday of last week. This is how my monthly view looks. If you guys are wondering as to which planner I use as my budget planner, I am currently using the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. I've used this for almost two years now and I absolutely love it. I think it has the right amount of pages that I need for all of my budgeting and financial um, trackers. And what I like to do in the monthly view is just lay down all of the things that I have to pay, whether they be bills that I have to pay or just expenses for the different categories that I have here. I like to have it and kind of give myself a visual because I'm a very visual person. So I like to look at when it is that I'm eating out, when it is that I'm spending money, when it is that I have no spends, how many no spends I have per month, and if I have any unbudgeted expenses because I feel like with many things um, there's really patterns that will come about. So first and foremost before I start with the weekly check-in I have to lay down all of my budget expense stickers. I'm not going to be talking of course about the elephant in the room which is what's going on in the world right now because I feel like you guys don't need another person to just keep talking about it and I honestly just kind of want to move on from that. Um, I know that it is a very very difficult time but I feel like as long as you're doing your part, staying at home, social distancing and only going out to get food um, or groceries, I definitely think there's no need to panic as of now. I think I kind of talked about this last week but yeah so since I haven't been going out much, which I typically don't as it is, as you guys know I work from home and I um, I'm really a homebody. So although this hasn't really been a big change for me, I have seen changes of course in my spending. Like um, I have quite a bit of money in both my beauty and my allowance on cash dividers and I have spent quite a bit of my groceries cash dividers. It's just different expenses that are going to happen or not happen because of the whole situation that's going on. So I have this little key here which I use a compliment card and a coil clip from Erin Condren um, to kind of make this. And then I went ahead and put my budget expense stickers. If you guys are interested, all the stickers that you see here in my budget planner are from my Etsy shop, Romina Rosa. So I use five different colors to signify five different categories. So the first one would be red from budgeted. The pink is food, which for me do have cash dividers, which in the past were cash envelopes. Um, I like to keep these in my wallet. And so for me, food would be both my groceries and eating out cash dividers. And although they are together in my budget planner, they certainly have their own cash divider and their own little tracker, which like I'm giving you guys so much information right now if you guys are new but if you guys um have been subscribed to my channel you guys kind of know the whole ordeal here so this is my micro happy planner where I like to keep all of my trackers for every single one of my cash dividers so as you guys can see they all have the respective cash divider when it comes to like the money and how I'm handling it and each has a little tracker so that's how those look. So all of that to say that food um, is both of these. Then we have shopping, which for shopping, I do categorize both my allowance and beauty cash envelopes as that. Then gas is by itself right here. And then we have other, which I have in yellow, which is essentially anything that's not a cash divider, but that I do budget for. Now, I don't think I have anything out of the ordinary no not this month but last month i had a category like my birthday and i have had categories for different specific things um so that's kind of what i use the yellow stickers for oh i also use it for my coffee um category just because i don't weekly check in for that necessarily so now that i've given you a ton of information i think i am ready to now um lay down my budget expense stickers so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start with um my shopping little category which I haven't you guys will see this in my check-in but um, I have an expense for beauty and the reason I'm starting with this you guys will see right now Paul ended up getting me some conditioner because the last time that I went to Sally's I realized that I didn't have shampoo so he ended up going to Sally's for me and he wasn't able to find shampoo 
either. So um, I told him that it's okay that he could just buy the conditioner for me and that I would look for it online on Amazon. So the reason it says hair care is because part of the money is from um, is for Sally's and the other part is for Amazon. So I did end up finding my shampoo that I use um, for my red hair on Amazon. And it was actually cheaper than I usually get it for. So that was on the 17th. So I'll put it right there for $34. And then after that, oh, this is where I want to go. Um, I want to go back to groceries and explain to you guys that I had such a budget fail last week and I'm surprised none of you guys actually caught it. I was mentioning how I went to Target and then I, and how I couldn't find wipes. So then I ended up purchasing those from Amazon. So I completely forgot to take out the money because of course I pay that with my card and then I have to, to get from my little change envelope that I have here. So what I forgot to do was take out the $16 that I paid for those wipes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it on top of that Amazon hair care um, day because when was it that I got it? Last week because I ended up getting it on the same day so it wouldn't have been a no spend anyways. I'm just gonna put it right there. So that was $16 and I didn't put a date because it was on the 11th but I'm actually putting it on the 17th. I know it's such a budget fail of me I think. I don't think I've ever made a mistake like this um, but I completely forgot about it so what can you do? But try to fix your mistakes. On the 18th I paid for burritos. Um, my mom went to go pick up my dad's um, prescription so she did end up just picking up burritos and what we've been doing is that they have either been cooking or paying for food on Monday and Tuesday for all of us. So I decided to just contribute by just buying burritos for all of us and that was $29. And then I think for the 16th and then on the 19th, I, me and Paul went to 7-Eleven really quick. We ended up picking up just like chips and sodas me, him, and my little brother. And then last but not least, I ended up going to Target on Sunday, the 22nd. And I actually spent $81, which sounds like so much money. I usually don't spend this much at Target, but I hadn't gone since when? I hadn't gone since the 15th so it had been a week since I've been grocery shopping and I got there pretty early on Sunday. I was able to find toilet paper, I was able to find um, almond milk and just a bunch of things that people haven't been able to find and that we had ran out of. So I picked up a bunch of things. I picked up things to make like little personal pizzas for me and my family. Um, I also bought detergent for our house and just other things that we needed. So I did spend 81 that day and then I did go through the Starbucks drive through with Paul and that was $10 so I'm just going to put a little Starbucks sticker there. So those were all of my expenses from the 16th to the 22nd and now I can go ahead and lay down my no spend stickers. So let's take, payday's already there so... Um, I had two no spend days, which doesn't seem like too many days, especially considering the fact that I've been home, but um, I didn't go out this day. I bought it from Amazon and then Paul got it right after work, which quick update on that, Paul's actually working from home as of now, so um, that's, the good, that's a good thing. So I think that's pretty much it for my budget expense stickers and I am now ready to weekly check in for this week. So let me write down categories which are like I mentioned food gas shopping and unbudgeted so although I have um, I did spend quite a bit of money at Target I am happy to say that I didn't go over but even if you let's say have gone over or if I were to over do realize that it is perfectly fine to go over especially right now um, that we're stocking up for things so that we are not going out let's say every single like every three days to like the grocery store or anything like that but rather just stock up on things that we're going to be needing for the next couple of weeks so let's start with food I'm going to go ahead and add all of my pink stickers here. 
I didn't mention this, but I have decided to make things um, like toiletries, like wipes, detergent, and toilet paper part of my grocery budget just because I did give myself a pretty good amount this month. So let's see, let's add 16 plus 29 for burritos, plus 16 for 7-Eleven, and 81 for Target. That is a total of 142 that I spent for food. So let's see, 142. Last week we had 195 remaining, so let's subtract that from that. That means that I should still have $53 remaining for food. Now this is where this comes into play and I'm going to count down, count out how much money I have left over. So for my groceries, cash divider after Amazon and Target, they should have $31 left, which I do. We have 20, 30, and one. I don't foresee myself buying anything else. I think we're pretty set now with like, you know, wipes, toilet paper, um, detergent, and even like the snacks that I bought for myself. I'm going to definitely just try to use up everything that I have and eat up everything that I have before I go back to Target. So I don't foresee myself going back. I'm thinking until the very, very end of the month just to um, use up those $31, which is pretty good. I was like, why is it say 32, but this was 38? It's because I subtracted it wrong. <laughs> okay, so this is 22. Apparently I can't math, right? <laughs> I promise this doesn't always happen on my channel, guys. <laughs> it's been a rough week, let's just say that. Okay. And then for eating out after the burritos and 7-Eleven, and I think 7-Eleven, I could have, you know, definitely taken it out of my allowance because I do have quite a bit of allowance money. But I figured that I would just get it from eating out. And then let's say at the end of the month, if I want to, I don't know, get food delivered to me or anything, I could just use my allowance for that too. So I like to be flexible with categories like that because essentially I would use my allowance money for eating out if it came to that because it's my allowance money and it's for anything you want it to be really so for my eating out cash divider i have 22 so 21 and 2. like i mentioned i don't foresee me having to spend more money on eating out although i could potentially so we'll see how that goes but i still have like i mentioned allowance money for like the third time um, and next, moving on to gas. I know for sure I didn't pump. Um, and I've been pretty good. I haven't driven anywhere. I'm usually really good with staying under my gas budget because I don't drive much. And during like this whole thing, I'm driving even less than I would be driving before. So I'm almost certain that I won't be pumping gas again just because I have more than half of my tank still. So I didn't spend anything for gas this week. I should still have $40 so let's see so for gas we still have the $40 here let's put those on the side now next for shopping I have one sticker here and I haven't even been checking these off so every time I track something I like to check it off I just like choking off things. You guys know this. Okay, so hair care is shopping. That's from my beauty cash envelope, cash divider. We spent $34, and last week I had 208 remaining, so now I have $174. So let's take a look at my tracker. So for allowance, I still should have the $88, which if you guys watched last week's video, you guys know that I traded in one of my gift cards that I got for my birthday for some cash to stuff um, my savings challenge envelope. I'm going to be honest with you guys, my savings challenge envelope is not one of my priorities as of now, just because I feel like I just want to not be stressing about having to save those $500 this month especially but what I am going to do is whatever money I have left over this month I am going to be putting it towards that so I don't know I don't think I'll get to the 500 goal that I had for myself but that is okay so for allowance I should have still $88 
So the gift card has $30, and so 30 plus 50 is 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. I know that might be a little bit confusing, but I did trade in that money from my allowance and just put that in my savings challenge envelope. Go ahead and check out last week's video. It'll all make sense. <laughs> And then for beauty, after the hair care expense, I should have $86, which I'm pretty sure I'll have a pretty good amount of money in here because usually that is for my nails. And I'm not going to be getting my nails done. I'm actually going to cut these off. I'm pretty sure after this video. So sorry, you have to look at these um, ugly nails. <laughs> um, so for beauty, I should have $86. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 86 that and then coffee I did the same exact thing I had some gift cards that I was gifted to me for my birthday for Starbucks so I believe I ended up taking $45 of that yes $45 so I spent 10 from the gift card that I had so I have 35 still in my Starbucks account and $5 in cash I'm telling you guys you have to you guys have to watch um last week's check-in so that it all makes sense because right now I feel like I'm trying to explain something impossible to explain Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then I don't have any unbudgeted expenses. No. So zero. And then for this, I just um, draw a dash because I don't budget for unbudgeted in my monthly budget video. So that's kind of it for this weekly check-in part of the video. Um... I don't really have much as you guys can see all I've really been spending on has been food which you know makes sense let's let's go ahead and take a look at February actually I mean I mostly spend my money on food anyways and like getting my nails done which I haven't done so that's kind of I think the reason why it's mainly food here so um so that's pretty much it for this part I'm now going to bring you guys to my sinking fund spread which there really hasn't been anything um coming out of this yeah nothing since last time last time I got money out was for the Mario Party game I was supposed to spend money for my birthday fund for my dad but since this party ended up getting canceled and just everything has been crazy um he hasn't really asked for a a birthday present so I think I'm just gonna hold off um, the money for that but aside from that that's pretty much it haven't bought any clothing obviously haven't gone on date nights or done anything entertaining that costs me money and I never got a call from my optometrist to pick up my contacts and I feel like it's too late to be asking for that now <laughs> it's kind of funny because I don't know how to react to everything that's happening so I'm just like you know giggling like <laughs> you know Okay, so that's basically it for sinking funds. And then the last page that I'm going to show you guys before I end the video is my variable income spread. So in here, since the last time that we saw each other, I had two expenses. One was for my recurring subscription box from Simply Gilded, which now costs me $31. I believe the shipping went up on this by $2. And for the description, I put Painted Garden Sub Box, which is the name of the box. And then last but not least, on the 21st, I spent $11.51 from Paper and Milk. She had a um, sale because she had just reopened her shop. And then aside from that, I did end up paying $16.38 for shipping. I believe I shipped out giveaway prices. I believe so. So that's pretty much all that I have for this video. I know that it probably wasn't as eventful as many of my videos have been in the past but with everything going on i haven't really had to spend much money other than for food so hopefully i don't spend too too much in the next week and a half so that whatever money i have left over like i mentioned i can put in my savings challenge envelope because let's see you guys want to know how much i have in there so far let's go ahead and count how much we have in here they want to I think I'm gonna change some of these bills yeah I think so okay so let's see in my savings challenge envelope so far I have 20 40 60 80 90 100 110 130 140 150 155 6 7 8 9 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 167 so I have 167 in here so far so you know, I 
should still be able to no, know I don't I honestly don't know if I'll be able to save the 500 unless I take out money from um, funds so we'll see so with that being said that's pretty much it for this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys did please don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already please stay safe and try to social distance yourself if you can um, and hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video Bye, guys.